Hi everyone, my name is Anastasia and welcome back or welcome if you are new to my YouTube channel where we talk about fashion, history, the industry, the trends and more. I'm happy to have you here. Okay, when I started to put up the setup it was sunny and now it's about to start raining and it wasn't on the forecast so I have no idea what's going on with the weather but I really hope that we will just be able to roll up with this video without me fainting into darkness. Anyhow, the topic for today's video is gonna be a good one, in my opinion, and we will talk about a trend cycle. What is it? How do they go on? And I'll also give you some examples, obviously. Let's start with what is a trend cycle? Well, basically a trend cycle is a way to describe the rise and the fall of what we consume as a society, as well as a general direction in uh, which something is developing or changing. It goes further than just a fashion, however, fashion industry was one of the first to start using it religiously to describe and promote certain styles. There are five key stages to a trend cycle. Introduction, rise, acceptance, decline, and obsolence. So we will have a look at each of them. Well, introduction is when a trend enters fashion arena while still being quite niche. It can come from street style, from runway, from a subculture, from influencer, or even be a part of marketing strategy. Mew Mew Skirt, I'm talking Rise is a stage when involved minority, and in that case, people who are very much into fashion or even work with fashion industry, somehow involved with fashion industry. I'm talking bloggers, stylists, influencers, celebrities, uh, trendsetters, and so on and so forth, start to acknowledge this new style and incorporate it into their looks. That is basically the stage when items start to be in more demand and now they or it, this particular style, is acknowledged as a trend by magazines, media, social media, etc. Next stage, acceptance, is when a trend moving further, like out of the realm of the inner fashion circles and into the broad world of just people being interested in fashion, to being consumed by involved majority. Well, these are people who love clothing and looking up to date, maybe even trendy. They go shopping, window shopping, follow bloggers, maybe even sit on Pinterest. So we can definitely say that they are interested, but not as much as to watch runway shows, read analytical articles, analyze street style during fashion weeks and I mean, you got the point. And when this many people are interested in buying something, the demand rises and mass market brands started to tap in producing this particular style of item. Hence making it more and broadly available to anyone and everyone with different budgets. For stage decline, is tightly connected with mainstream fashion. Now even uninterested majority is involved in participating in it, an involved minority from the stage two already moved to the next one. And I don't mean next stage, I mean next trend. That means that now trend is already fully adapted and by that point it already lost the sense of newness and or uniqueness. And the last stage is obsolescence, when we as a society is already past this trend and don't consider item trendy, meaning fashionable anymore. Some women start talking anti-trends at this point, but there is generally no such term. And if you think about it, it means of its narrative. Well, it's just ridiculous. Being a good PR tool and a very much so clickbaiting title which some influencers, bloggers and magazines use nonetheless to get more traffic or engagement. Let's do an example now and what item can be better to do it right now than that 
Miu Miu's skirt that apparently works harder than Chris Jenner. So, introduction. The skirt was firstly shown during the runway show, during the Miu Miu Spring 2022 ready to wear a runway show during the Paris Fashion Week. The whole collection was a mix of like naughty preppy and 2000s styling, but that particular look got like the most attention and was further very much so a part of Miu Miu promo strategy. Then comes the rise. We suddenly started seeing this particular set on models, celebrities, influencers, bloggers, on all the covers of all the magazines, on the red carpets, on the Coachella, literally everywhere, on all the fashion people. Next comes acceptance, and that is basically the stage we are currently on. So mass market brands started making the dupes for it. I've seen some on Opoly, on AliExpress, and there will be only more as we move further. But the involved minority already moved to the next trend, which is also one by Miu Miu, like those sequined dresses and skirts that kind of give me like to early 2000s prom vibes, but in a good way. And if you're interested, they were also introduced during that spring-summer 2022 runway show that Miu Miu did. So while the skirt is on acceptance stage and is slowly moving towards the decline stage, and that is basically when it is officially cancelled by like inner circles of fashion community, but is why is still quite widespread amongst the like uninterested, uninvolved majority of people. The sequence skirt is currently on the stage two, which is the rise. By the way, tell me down in the comments below how do you personally feel about this Miu Miu skirt look? Uh, how do you find it? I personally feel like it's quite unwearable, but from the fashion point, I did really enjoy it because preppy style is a part of my personal style. I do tap into it a lot, hence why I did. I was kind of preoccupied into enjoying this thread. That being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you did, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, ring the bell. I'm a newbie to the YouTube, so that will help me a lot. And if you're interested in seeing more content, more fashion content, styling content made by me and posted more often than once per week, you can find the links to my other social media in the description below. And yeah, I see you next week.